let's make some Thrive Soap together. At this point, I have just added the oils and other ingredients to make the soap base. I'm stirring it. It takes a while to incorporate all the ingredients together, and it just takes patience and some time to make sure everything is mixed well. I was using a stick blender. And here I'm adding some spiced orange tea. And orange tea adds a little bit of exfoliant and the amazing fragrance of the orange tea. And here I'm adding some American red clay to make a beautiful orange color. And you'll see that it takes a few additions for me to get the right color that I want. And of course the clay is an all natural ingredient. I don't wanna waste any here, so I'm trying to scoop it all out of the container. And I'm mixing it up. And as I continue to mix, I added a little bit more at that point. And now I'm gonna add some that sweet orange essential oil. I actually added a couple of tablespoons of that and mix it up. And I also had added some clove and in this clip I think I'm adding, let's see, yes, that's the lemon essential oil. So it was lemon, clove, and sweet orange all mixed together and incorporated really well. And now I'm finally at the point where the soap is thick enough. And if you can see it, it looks like pancake batter, I guess. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into the mold and try not to spill it. Sometimes I can be a little messy, but this wasn't too bad. <laughs> and just scooping it and trying to get it totally full. And wipe off of that little spillage. I'm not quite as neat as I wish I could be. And pouring in the second mold. And when I get this all filled up, you'll see there's still some soap left in, t in the container. But I went ahead and kept tapping it down until I could add all of the soap into these molds. And now I'm just swirling the top so that it's pretty. And trying to get it all leveled out do the next one here and then it is ready to go on a heating pad covered up with some blankets 